We're now going to take a look at creating coordinate tables and stakeout information on sheets. Uh, in our training guide, we'll be starting on page 126, um, going through the middle of 128. What we're going to do is take some data that we've previously created. So we had the uh, site project, we did some proposed grading surfaces, we've got all that that good Z information you know, stored in a surface data and we want to create an XYZ uh, points at certain places for our parking lot maybe our building we're going to stake this information out and we need to get that information into coordinate geometry so back in our uh, design file called layout DGN um, I want to make sure that I get into the default model so I'm going to go to the models tool and I want to double click on default and that will place me in the default model. What I'm going to do is I need to open up my, prod, my site modeler project, so civil modeler and browse and select my project file. And I also want to open up coordinate geometry, so civil geometry, coordinate geometry, and select my GPK file, give them my operator code, and in coordinate geometry I want to make a change here. I want to set visualization to permanent so that we can visualize the points. Now I can minimize this dialog now once I make that change. Now we'll focus our attention on the parking lot. What we're going to do is we want to grab points at the corners of our parking lot, at, you know, at the curb edge of the pavement or back of curb or something, and we want to grab the information at XYZ point because we've got to stake it out. So I'm going to go under Modeler, Project, Export to Kogo. Anything that we created in, when we were site mod, doing our site models and our surfaces anything that we created we can get XYZ points there and send it to Kogo and through Kogo we can create stakeout and reports so what I want to do is I want to export points to Kogo what points do I want to export? Well that's what I choose here I want to export the, the object PL1 well parking lot 1 has a lot of information in it I don't want all the information I simply want the edge of pavement so when I drew the edge of pavement, I drew it using my DNC manager. So I can hit select pay item, click ID, select my edge of pavement, accept it. And it will find it in the list there because I graphic matches that. Click OK and that's what I'm selecting. Again, I just hit select pay item, click ID, grab an edge of pavement, accept it. But it can also be found under pay item folder plan, folder, roadway, and DES EFP. So what it's going to do is it's going to grab that information, just the site elements, and I'm going to, when it finds curve curves, I want two points to define the curve, so I say a PC and a PT. Along the lines, I'm just going to grab the beginning and ends of the lines, so that's enough. I could have it grab points at certain interval along a line called stroking. So every 10 feet along the line, I could grab a point. But I'm just going to get just the um, ends. So that gives me what to search for. Now I need to place it in Kogo. So I select the Kogo file that I want to put it in. My initials, a point prefix. In this case, uh, they're parking lot points. So I'll just say uh, PL beginning point number and then a feature. Now a feature would be like the the survey code. They have coding and survey so what code is that do they use in the field to locate a edge of pavement? Let's just say EP. Once I do that I click apply and it will create the points and since I had visualization turned on in Kogo it actually drew a tick mark at 
where the points are calculated at and label and name put their name there their point number so that's a way of searching through an object and grabbing information how about if I have like one particular thing I want so I can say like I want to use power selector and I want to just you know maybe I just want the the building corners I could do something like that or maybe I just want the center line like maybe I'm going to stake this parking lot out by setting up on the center line of the road and uh, back siding you know setting up on a point back siding the other end and then turning angles to the parking lot so for example I can say use power selector and I can select uh, just give me this one line and then when I store it in Kogo I can call it like CL for center line and um, give it a code, a uh, field code of CL is fine. And, and apply, and it'll place a point there and a point at the other end. So you can use Power Selector and select certain elements. You know, the building, for example. Here's the building, four corners of the building. And I can select the building, give it a point name, prefix, and of course I. some sort of field code, let's say B L C R N building corner. And we'll start at point you know one or ten or whatever's say B L ten, click apply, and I'll place it in the place those points there. So you can see it's quite easy once you have the modeler, it'll create XYZ points there. And what's been going on in Kogo if I bring back up my coordinate geometry interface, all these points have been being stored in coordinate geometry. So now I'll have a quite a list of of points in there. So now that I have that information, I can now create um, Using Kogo, I can create stakeout sheets and stuff like that. So we'll do that next.